Welcome one and all to the 61st episode of D&D with me Mike and me Zoe and today we are going to do a bunch of things well we should start with the sword but first we found a bug last time that we need to fix uh oh boy wait let me give myself the glove yeah. I can now throw it and kill the enemy with a with a vase from this side by the way which is a problem the vase should not cause this degree of damage in fact, not even from behind, probably. Yeah. So the vase against these enemies should shatter, yes, but that shouldn't kill them. Us. Yeah, shouldn't kill them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. So let's look into this. We should also have some kind of like, you know, particle system for the enemy dying. That's something we should add. So this is obviously a code issue. The vase. Hitting an enemy, destroying blah blah, and uh, we need to take a look. <sighs> okay, so let's look at breakables, destructibles. That's the one. On collision, enter. Enemy, e take damage. Simple as. Except it's wrong. Uh, it would depend. We need on to do a switch with enemy. Uh, maybe. I don't remember what is there, but I think there's a check for damage somewhere. Check if attack is valid. So, this one doesn't really matter. It's more of a... It's a vase, not an attack. Depends on the attack. Oof, there's quite a lot. So this is for the attack. So I don't think that would count. Uh, let's go back to the destructible and we're simply going to switch for the enemy type. So here you can go switch. Tab tab. Or E dot. Enemy type. Don't know what it is. No. I think it, there's a... It won't be there. Um... Oh, bummer. Take damage. There will be an enemy type, but it may be hidden. Or it may be part of the interactive I think it was. Thingy. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whenever we was. we took a bit of a break, so now I can't remember anything. Uh I don't know that there's a way to deduce I think it was IE. Yeah. But hmm. Do a public enemy type. Uh, entity type, try that. Yeah. No. What the heck? Wait, entity. leave it leave it there. Leave it with an error. Interactive entity. Okay, copy. Yeah. Don't know what happened there. Paste Let's it. Let's generate interactive. Right? Space get enemy t get type. Open close run. Open as quick Return. I e dot type. But I e type there it is. Hit tab semicolon. I don't think we've ever had this particular thing, so copy this. Uh, e dot paste, open close round. Case. Oh, it does a little bit fixing. So we got enemy bomb and enemy shield. The rest will leave. Cut, paste, and that's it. Now for Save. the shield. That's it. And this should produce no effect on the enemy. Oh boy. Are we resetting the saves? I think so. Okay, so because of how we're going to work in the nature of our game, uh, we either improve our movement thing to various checkpoints, etc. Or we... I mean, that will be creating proper tools. We're not going to do that tonight. What we're going to do is we're just going to go all the way there. Okay. <clears throat> Let me through. 
press the switch. Out we go. Whoops. I'm right here. Bye. Okay, we're running. Speed run. <sighs> Speed run is going as fast as you can, right? Yes. Stuck in walls. That's really annoying. effects for when you fall into the water. <laughs> we should. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Fell down. <laughs> okay, we finally got here. Now this save should keep us going for a while. So we can finally test against these enemies. Uh, easier said than done. I don't think there is an option. Uh. Okay, we're through. Uh oh. He's not spiking me. This one is? This one isn't. So after kicking, they don't spike. Yeah, that's right. So we've got a bago. Is he doing the animation, the other guy? It looks to me like they're all moving. Yeah. Oops. They're all moving. Yeah, so... Okay, let's go find out why that's not happening. So we fixed one bug, we found another. Strange that we missed this one from last time. Mm. Okay, so... Enemy. Uh, interactive enemy routine. Re aggression routine. Interaction routine. Could be this one. Enemy shield gets stunned. Animation set trigger fall. Uh, did we have a trigger to come back of this? From this? I'm not I sure. I don't think so. Yeah, but it was like some kind of maybe flag or something. I don't know. So let's see for the spikes, spike travel routine. I think it will be start spike travel. Who decides where start spikes travel is if not passive. So the only option is that this thing remains passive, which is hidden in the inspector. Let's unhide all of these. The public might as well show them. Save. And now let's see if they remain passive. Because we've saved and we're not using the load default saves, mm. we can actually go and test. Just go there and test quickly. Right, so spike. Oh. Yep. Okay. So let's look at this enemy over here. This one. Okay. So he has presently got uh, enemy, aggressive, passive, and interactive. None of them. Let's go take a look at him now. I'm gonna kick him in the butt. He's passive. And aggressive. Aggressive. But it's not being spiked. He remains aggressive and the aggression is not resolved. That's the problem. Okay, so let's see <coughs> how that works. Okay, if not passive, aggressive equals true. Get component enemy shield. Uh, aggressive, etc. Uh, okay, so there's a bit of a problem and there's something we need to solve. 
uh, number one let's take a look at our animations so inside models player there should be an animation for shield fall events it has one event remove passive state okay so the helper does have something mm. you were wrong there it is animation helper remove passive state owner remove passive remove passive get component enemy remove passive right so that's all good the problem is um when does get type have a the aggression is also turning on so we need to turn off the um visual vision model module mm. awareness module that's the one so let's see in setup enemies am finds it and then sets it up let's go take a look at setup so inside setup there's awaken there's on trigger stay identity to site etc uh, we should have an enable disable simple as so go public void void public void um, and call this one uh, activate module two words yeah Okay, open around, bool on off. Close round, open squiggle, save. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna deal with our collider, except I don't see I don't see a collider at all. That's odd. Awareness size should be applied. Awareness size, awaken transform load so no it's it's interesting it doesn't seem to be caring about its own uh, about its own collider which is interesting vision cone there's the ordinance model module and it has a collider so we're gonna go grab the collider uh, but we're gonna do it here so private collider just collider because it could be any collider so go collider and call this one uh, collider. There it is, hit tab semicolon. Okay, so copy collider, paste collider, equals get component collider. Get component of type collider. <clears throat> Okay, copy, paste, dot enabled, equals on off, close, yeah, so that's all. So we have activate module, and that's it, and we're going to turn them on or off, by default it will be on, at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, we might as well do it in setup, so here, rather, in awaken right here in awaken copy this paste it uh, open round true close rounds and go yeah so now we'll be able to u utilize that um, so right here when we go into um, aggression to action yeah get stunned so when we get stunned um, we are going to deactivate that module so we're gonna say am dot activate module open round false close rounds so we call it so we turn it off mm -hmm. And then when we remove the passive state, copy this, paste it here, true. Same, save, there we go. 
So now what will happen is that it should not transition into aggressive. Aggressive. You've noticed that it went passive first when we hit it in the butt, and then it became aggressive. Mm. Right. The reason is we probably entered the collider. So again, let's pick this one. So currently it's passive. It became aggressive. Oh, yeah, okay. Now the aggression went away. See that? Yeah. The reason why that happens is we got a timer. Okay, now I hit this one. And he spikes me. Except he didn't go aggressive. And we're looking at the other one. Oh. There. So, goes passive, not aggressive. And now spikes me. And survives the... So that's working. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. All right. So we said we need um, some kind of effect for the monster going Down away yeah. and for falling in the water. Yeah. So we have particle systems in our prefabs. So we got explosion. Okay. Now we could do something with like little blood cubes or something. Mm. So duplicate the explosion. And name this one blood. We can use this one for ourselves too. I was about to say uh, that. Let's rename this one to death actually. So it's a little bit more extreme. Um, wait a moment. Yeah, well, we haven't killed it yet. Whatever. Uh, never mind. Rename it to blood again. We're going to make a small one first. Okay. So there it is. And we've got a flash. The flash is fine. We can keep it. We're going to change the start color to red. There we go. Do we have a color over lifetime? No. There. So you have it with red now? Mm. The flash? Yep. Now, main. Let's go to color over lifetime. And uh, we are going to simplify it and put a red. And then simplify this one as well. And put another red. Now it's much more red. It sparks. It's the tiny little ones that go farther than the others. Yep. Okay. It's too boxy to be blood. Mm, that's okay. In that case, then the boxes are too big. Oh, I see what the problem is. This one. Okay. And the boxes point one to point two five. Now we're also gonna give them a bit of gravity. That's too much. There we go. Let's reduce the simulation speed. The flash is too big. There you go. That's us getting hit. Okay. Mm. And them getting hit. Yeah. But wait a minute, they're zombies. Should they be hit like should they sure, they're fine. Okay, pick up template, blah blah blah. We frequently keep this in the game manager. It's a bit weird. We should probably have a class specifically designed for this, but never mind. Um, um sure I'll sit down here. Public. Um game object. Yeah, space PFX underscore blood template. 
equals default. Shoot, we don't need that for semicolon. Yeah. Okay. Does does it have a self yes. self manager? Yeah, PFX self manager probably just starts on its own, does whatever it needs to do. So this is for text. We don't have text, so it doesn't matter in this one, right? So mm -hmm. all of that is fine. SFX, that's bad. So player damage. Well, that's already played, so just go with none for blood, mm -hmm. I guess. So it's going to not play any sound effects when it just launches, so that's fine. Okay, now let's go to the player, and then we'll deal with the enemy. So every time the player gets hurt... Uh, there should be a take damage. Yep. There we go. Uh, so here you're going to say uh, PFX self manager. Yes, but actually, I don't even think we need that. I think we just need to do this instantiate, open round, mm -hmm. press tilde as opposed to tab. Instantiate, <coughs> open round. Game manager. Uh, actually, wait a moment. Does the game manager have a request VFX? No. All right. So, game manager. In capital M. Dot script. Dot. PFX, plot template, comma, where? Where do we put it? On the player. So? So, transfer into position. Yes. <coughs> what rotation? No rotation, so quaternion dot identity. Yeah. Do you need to parent it to anything? Uh, the player? Not really. No, it doesn't need to be parented anywhere. It will sort itself out. So close the round semicolon. Now I think that's actually sufficient. Let's see. Let's see how this looks like. For every time we get hurt. Ah. Unassigned. Well, we're potatoes. Yeah. Every time. Every time daddy makes this mistake. Blood. Did you see it? Because I didn't. It's right here. Oh, we did forget to play it. So it doesn't play itself? Is that what happens? I can't remember how we've set it up. This is my 59th project or something. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, start PFX. We need to call it. That's, that's what's going on. Simple. Mm. Um, so here, type PFX self manager. Actually, you don't even need that. Never mind. Go dot get component of type PFX self manager. Close. Open close round. Dot. Start, I think it's called. There it is. Open close round. So that's it. Done. And now it should work. Then we're gonna do the same for the enemy for when they die. The bomb obviously has its own Boom. system already sorted out. I saw it now. Didn't happen because we are immortal, right? Yeah. So let's see how this looks like maximized. Money. Money. The rare times that we okay, get it. Okay, so that works. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. now, now we need to... We need to do it on the enemy. Okay. So the enemy also has take damage. Mm -hmm. um, right here. And we're going to put it on... Um, it will depend. So if the health is negative zero, go else. Open squiggle, hit enter close, hit enter twice, close. Yeah, let's go to the player and copy pasta this one. 
copy all of this, paste it, save. It follows that this would work. Problem is, if it dies, we're not going to get anything. So let's create a death VFX, mm. which will apply to us players too. So control D for blood. I named this one to death blood. Mm -hmm. Death blood, and uh, let's open it. Okay, so. This one is not big enough, but what I want primarily is I want for the lifetime to be uh, of of the of the main to be a lot longer. So let's go from eight to sixteen. Okay, so that's that's the noise. Noise is giving us trouble here. Uh, we are going to remove the noise. But we're gonna add collisions already there. There you go. So you can see it's falling down. Let's reduce the amount of damping. Oh, my bad. Okay, and uh, that's probably sufficient, really. Maybe a bigger flash. Right, and it'll go away over time, but this will also, should also rebound on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, actually, but should do. World map obstacle, map ground of the player. Map ground. Okay, so again, let's go back to our take damage right here inside die. Copy this entire thing. Go to die. And before you destroy, ah, oh, wait, this is for the enemy bomb. Leave it as it is. Case. No, it's interactive enemy banana. Interactive entity dot uh, enemy shield uh, colon and turn to break semicolon paste save. Now this is obviously wrong because it's going for blood template. So type death here with a capital D. Copy this. It's gonna complain. This doesn't exist, man. Uh, just copy this actually. Paste it here. Type the word death with a capital D here. Shift tab over here. Save. Okay. Back to the enemy. Copy all of this. Save. Control S. Now, player. Take damage if not invulnerable. Okay. Paste it here. Cut, paste it here. Save. There we go. So now it's either going to be one or the other. And we're going to go to the game manager and tell it PFX death blood right here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and now. blood drops will remain there for a bit yep okay now let's see if the enemy is working <coughs> now we should get another blood went everywhere yep Oh. 
Okay, and that does it. We have blood stains for everything. And the bomb is doing its explosion correctly. Hey, Never. when you stepped to that, it only get, gave you one health. That's because it was probably negative three. But that's interesting. Let's go take a look at this. Because that's not how we want it to work, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, you're going to end up dying right there. So. Yeah, so heal. There's the increment. I bet you that the increment is max health. Um, so that's what's happening there. I mean, so it shouldn't be a huge problem. But I would still like a heal negative one. So we're going to try that instead. Hit control F. Let's find where heal is. All open documents. Find, find, find. There's no way. I know somebody else is calling heal. What the heck? No. Hit control F. Don't know what happened. Heal. There you go. Oh, health, really? Really? Okay. Heal, uh, that's for picking up a heart. Heal, max HP. That's mm -hmm. the issue. Type negative one. My bad. G minus one. So, uh, here you say if increment higher than, higher or equal, yeah, just higher to it. In the end of the copy, paste higher than zero, close round, open squiggle, hit enter twice, else, open, close. So if the increment is higher than zero, so cut, paste it here. Save. If the increment is lower than zero, then we're simply going to say this pay, copy, paste equals max HP. Uh, it's not here apparently. Try game manager, script, player attributes, dot max HP. There it is. Semicolon. Now let's see if it works. Yeah, well, the, in order to test it, we need to go back. Because just walking on it won't do anything. That's okay, we can kick this guy in the butt. Then we can kick that guy in the butt and go to the next save. Excuse me, sir. Have a nice one. I've got a heart, but it's on the other side of the world. Yes, but we said we already had one health, so that didn't what? work. We had one health already there. Mm. It would have worked anyway. We need to get ourselves hurt more. Yes, ma'am. Let's do that. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Ow. They were paying you for the super bad bases you gave them. Ow. Nothing in them. Yeah, kick him in the bum. There you go. Da, da, da. Ow. <clears throat> it's actually Mike and daughter. Come on, Caesar. Ow. Come on, hey, there's me. no blood there. Well, that's because I wasn't transparent. Oh. Uh. Ah! Fail. Uh, fail. Fail. Success. Let's go through. So, if I know. Nope. Oh. Does it have something to do with max attempt to reach? Yeah, it's possible. I don't know what that's for. Oh yeah? Set, Set positions. positions for what? For the pickup, that doesn't matter. Just It was having trouble figuring out where to put, put the... Heart. Heart, yeah. Whatever. Not, that's sure. It's not brilliant, but it's it's fine. The concern I have now is the what happened now. That was strange. Oh, we forgot to save. That may make a difference. And now that make a difference. Hello, just FYI, we don't normally chat too much during these episodes because they go to YouTube, so we try to be respectful of our YouTube audience. 
uh, so we don't really engage too much with chat but we're almost done okay so let's go to the other save we should <coughs> presently have zero health or something like that actually we may be able to check the player Hmm? Is it hail? Uh, it's hailing now. All the cars are in the garage, but the clouds look <laughs> really menacing. I think this is gonna be well ugly. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the maybe the game manager's attributes. There, current HP negative two. So if we got three, we'd get one. Uh, all done. Okay. So it's confirmed fixed. I think we're going to do a short episode today. We're going to stop here because next time we need to start with swords and it's a big deal. Uh, but we are done with these guys. Everything looks fine. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and we can kick vases and grab vases and throw them in the face. That's a mess. Give me that. Oh, I'm going to kick them. Out. Money! Money! I got one dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, so YouTube crowd, we'll see you again next time when we should do the swords. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Bye.